Hello and welcome to this session in which we'll discuss the Federal Unemployment Tax Act known as FUTA. Now from the name of it, it has to do with unemployment. Unemployment is what? Unemployment is helping people who lost their job. So the Federal Unemployment Tax Act is a law that set up a system for unemployment insurance. Now this program, although it's federal, the federal government is the administration of it, each state manages its own unemployment system. So each state will have their own, what we call SUTA, State Unemployment Tax Act. This system is designed to offer financial support to workers who have lost their job. Usually not their fault. So you lost your job due to a layoff, downsizing, the company moving overseas, something like that. If you were fired, most likely you cannot collect. Now, this is a federal program. It's the FUTA is a federal program. No, no, look, it's federal. However, as I mentioned earlier, it's a state administration. And you have to understand this. So it's like, it's a hybrid program, federal and state. And you're going to see why you have to understand this concept. Because when we compute the tax rate, we have to take into account the state as well as the federal guidelines. While FUTA sets up the basic rules at the federal level, each state is responsible for running its own unemployment insurance program. What does that mean? It means states can set up their own standards and decide how much money people will receive when they lose their job. So if you lose your job, what's going to happen? You're going to get a, a certain amount of money. So if you live in Pennsylvania, you're going to get this from the state of Pennsylvania. If you live in New Jersey, you're going to get this from New Jersey. If you live in New York, you're going to get the money from the state of New York. So the state itself pay out and the payout could be different from state to state because each state will have its own standards, its own requirement. So we will be discussing the details of this FUTA in this session. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. Which employers should participate in this program? Do all employers have to participate? Not all employers. To be part of the system, an employer needs to meet one of two conditions. They have a payroll of at least 1,500 in any quarter. We have four quarters in a year. Or employ at least one person for a total of 20 weeks within a year. This include all type of employers, whether they are business, nonprofit, or other entities. Now bear in mind, unlike FICA, FICA is Federal Insurance Contribution Act, which covers self-employed individual. In other words, if you're self-employed, you can contribute to FICA, which is your Social Security and Medicare. That's allowed. However, a self-employed individual, you cannot buy insurance for your unemployment. So FUTA, does not require self-employed people to participate. Why? Because think about it. If you're self-employed, who's going to fire you from your job? You, you can only fire yourself. So if that's the case, I would, I would say I'm a self-employed, pay into the system, then I would fire myself. Well, that's not allowed. So if you're self-employed, you cannot contribute to yourself. If you have employees and you qualify, if you have the payroll of 1500 or employ at least one person for a total of 20 weeks, then you have to pay for them, but you cannot pay for yourself. This means if you're self-employed, you are not automatically covered under this unemployment insurance system. What we need to know too is who funds this program, because obviously somebody has to fund the program because when people loses their job, the state is paying them money. They're paying them money from a program. Who funds this program? Who's gonna contribute to this program? We have to be careful here. The funding of unemployment insurance under the FUTA primarily comes from the payroll taxes that are paid by employers. In other words, companies, companies, not employee. As an employee, if you look at your paycheck, if you look at your paycheck, this is your paycheck, this is your paycheck. If you look at your paycheck, you are not going to see any deduction for FUTA, Federal Unemployment Tax Act. Now, your question is, how about SUTA? I would say 98% of states 
you don't pay Suda. In few states, you pay Suda. I know this because I live in Pennsylvania, and in Pennsylvania, you have to pay Suda as an, as, a, as an employee. It's a very small amount. Nevertheless, you have to pay it. But the majority of states, as an employee, you don't contribute to Suda. You don't contribute to Suda. Don't worry about Suda. We're only talking about Suda, but I want you to understand this. So, who funds this unemployment program? The employer, the company. So, employers are required to pay a federal unemployment tax, which is currently set at 6%. So, what's the rate? 6%. However, only for the first $7,000 of each employee's annual compensation. What does that mean? If you work for a company, and let's assume you make per year $40,000, just for the sake of illustration. Let's make it, uh, for simplicity, let's make it 52000 And you're getting $1,000 per week. Okay? So here's what's going to happen. You work week one, you earned 1000 Well, you have, uh, the employer is responsible for paying FUDA. You're going to see why I did not put the rate. Then you work week two, another 1000 Then they have to pay, then they have to pay FUDA. Once you reach week seven, week seven you have earned seven uh, seven thousand because by week seven each week is a thousand. Now you have earned seven thousand. After week seven, assuming you're making a thousand dollar per week, they will stop paying FUDA. So FUDA applies to the first seven thousand of the employee wages. Once this employee earned that extra dollar above a thousand, the employer will no longer have to pay the employer, the company, will no longer have to pay FUDA. So we said the rate 6%. You're going to see it's not really 6%. I'm going to show you why in a moment. But if you look at the form, at the federal unemployment form, which is, I believe it's called 940. I could be wrong. It could be called 940. It's 6%. 6 this means for each employee, the maximum federal tax an employer could pay per year is 420. That's not correct. They don't really pay 6%. You're going to see why. Why not? Because the state, it's going to give you a credit. You're going to get a credit. The employer will get a credit for state unemployment tax. Remember, I told you we have FURA and we have SURA. Now, if the employer paying SURA, and they have to pay SURA, if the employer is paying SURA, so if the company you're working for, they're called in good standing with SURA. The term is called good standing. It means they are paying their SURA. They're not behind. If they're paying SURA, Remember, FURA, we said it's 6%, right? We said FURA is 6%, 6%. The federal government's going to say, look, since you are paying SURA, and remember, FURA is administering the program for SURA. FURA, remember, is the administration. So if you're paying, indeed, SURA, we're going to give you a credit of 5.4%. Well, 6% minus your SUTA credit, because you're paying SURA, what's left is 0.6. So simply put, the net FUTA rate is 0 0.6. Why is it 0 0.6? Because the employer gets a credit for their SURA. Now, you could be only paying SURA at 3%. You could be paying SURA at 9%. You pay different rates for different SURAs. It all depends on your record in that state. They will tell you how much to pay. Regardless of how much you pay, whether you pay 3 or 9, the credit is only 5.4, which will make your federal rate at 0.6. So this credit could be as much as 5.4. It is 5.4 of the first 7,000. But remember, each state is different. Essentially, if an employer pays the full state unemployment tax, they might need to pay only 0.6. And this is the federal unemployment tax. Now, what's going to happen is this. Reduced state tax rate for low unemployment claims. As I mentioned, how much do you pay in your state? It all depends on your record. If you're laying off employees, constantly laying off employees, your rate will go up because your employees will have to participate, will have to participate in that insurance program, in that, in that federal unemployment program. But if over the years you keep paying into the program, you keep funding the program, and you're not laying off people, then the state will lower your rate. So there is a what's called a, a rating system. They would, every year or every two years, they would look at your record. This means an employer with good record of maintaining employment can pay less in state unemployment tax, potentially increasing their credit against the federal tax. Now, employer deductibility. Is FUTA deductible? Can, can the employer, can the company deduct the amount that they pay for FUTA? Of course they can. It's part of their 
employment payroll taxes. Under FUDA, the financial aspect for employers involve tax payments that are considered deductible for business expense. Of course they are. So it's deductible for the employer. The amount that the employer pays toward FUDA is fully deductible as a regular business expense. Specifically, it's listed under payroll expenses when they are calculating their taxable income. This is because this tax payment is necessary cost for doing business. If you want to have employees, you can do it. Be careful. Remember, employees don't pay FUDA. Therefore, there is no deduction for employees. So FUDA, the employee has nothing to do with FUDA. You don't see it. You don't pay it. You don't deduct it. You don't do anything. The only, the only, the only reason the employee gets to know about FUDA and SUDA is when they get unemployed, they get benefit. Are these benefit taxable or not? Look at the unemployment uh, tax in a separate recording. Since employees do not pay the federal unemployment tax themselves, it's solely of the, the responsibility of the employer. Therefore, they cannot claim any deduction for this tax on their tax return. Who's eligible to receive unemployment? Well, obviously, when you lose your job. To qualify for unemployment benefits, it's essential that the job loss was not due to the employee's own fault. Now, you might be saying, I know a person who was fired and they got unemployment. It could happen. If your employer don't fight it, they would allow you to do it. But if they can, they can fight it and don't let you qualify for it. This typically means that those who are laid off due to company downsizing or similar reasons are eligible, whereas those who quit, most likely if you quit 100%, your employer is not going to let you collect or fired for misconduct. Again, fired more for misconduct. I know some employers, they just let it go sometime, but that's their discretion. As we said, it's a state administered variation in the benefit. Each state manages its own unemployment benefit program and the program is called SUDA. This means that the amount of money a person receives and other specific detail can vary from state to state. Each state is different. Factors determining the benefit amount. Well, the actual amount of unemployment an individual received depends on two factors. How long you've been working, how long the individual was employed before losing their job. Obviously, the longer you've been working, the more you are going to get. That's one factor. The second factor is how much were you getting paid. The more you were getting paid, the more you're going to get unemployment. But however, it's going to be up to a point and it's not that much. Up to a point, but not that much. What other things we need to know? Benefit unrelated to employer's tax contribution. The amount of benefit an employed, unemployed worker receives is not limited or directly based on the amount their employer contributed to the program. Simply put, you could only contribute, for example, or your employer could contribute at only $600 on your behalf. You may end up collecting $6,000. This is an insurance program. You're not limited to how much you contributed. In other words, the benefit might exceed the unemployment taxes paid by the employer on your behalf as an employee. So it doesn't mean if they paid only 600, you're going to get 600. This is an insurance program. It's literally an insurance program. So when a company goes down, they lay off employees, everyone is participating in this program. Remember a few things about FUDA. Employer must pay FUDA if they employ someone at least 20 weeks in a year or they have 1,500 in wages in a quarter. Not for themselves. This tax is not paid by employees. It's paid by employers, the company. Two, tax deductibility for employers. Since they pay it, they can deduct it. Since employer paid the FUDA tax, they can deduct it as a business ex expense. Employees cannot deduct this payment. They did not even make the payment to deduct it. How can you deduct something if you did not even pay it? State unemployment tax deduction for employers. Employers with low rate of unemployment claims may be eligible for a deduction on state unemployment. Simply put, if you are in good standing, in quote, for in your state, you get a credit 5.4%. Employee benefit tied to employer contribution? No. The benefit an employee receives are not limited to how much that employer contributed on their behalf. Let's take a look at this multiple choice questions from farhatlectures.com. Under FURA, the unemployment tax paid by employer is what? Is deductible as a business expense, is not deductible in any circumstances, can be deducted by both employer and employee, is not deductible by employees. First, let's talk about this. Who pays FUDA? Only employers. If they pay it, they can deduct. Therefore, it's a deductible business expense, just a deductible payroll business expense. It's a necessary cost to do what? To run your business. For what purpose? In case the company lay off employees, the employees they can collect from an insurance program that's administered by the state. 
until they find a new job. It's basically a social program. What should you do now? You know, go to Farhat Lectures, look at additional MCQs that's going to help you understand these concepts if you're studying for your CPA exam or studying your ta income tax courses, business law, studying for your enrolled agent. Good luck, study hard, invest in yourself, and of course, stay 